Buffalo team. A very good morning. So today we will learn like how to read data from the front end part, like creating a HTML form in AppScript and uh, using uh, from taking input from the users we can store in a Google Sheet. So it is a very important uh, topic in AppScript. So I will show you in a simple way. Okay. So without wasting any time, I will just show you like how we can use this functionality with success handler and my functions. Okay, so let's get started. So I will show you initially what we are doing. So initially I have created a button. So here you will need to fill a detail like name, city, age. And when click on set button, this data will store in a Google Sheet okay and show my detail whatever detail is stored using this button we will fetch the detail okay so without wasting any time we will see the code for time saving purpose i have already written down the code for this i will go through like what code is doing internally okay if you and at the last i will show you the announce part like to create a good HTML and CSS page okay if you see this code this is very simple word so let's get started first of all if you see first you can go through the code form and detail these three uh, uh, files are important these two we can cover in a later okay at the end of a video so first of all if you see this button options so it will come through this menu bar so here we are creating a menu so for the first two menu we have, uh, we have shown like enter detail for the second it will show the detail okay so here first of all we are creating a form so first of all we are using the html services okay and create html output from files okay from this file we are reading the data okay and from so model dialog board it will show it will take two parameters first of all the html part whatever we created the html file and second is whatever you have to show in that page okay i will show you in a front end now i will show you the form form is pretty simple uh, that i show you in our beginning like we have created one form it will contain a label like name city age okay we are taking the input it is a simple form initially we give a text and edge is a number and uh, last we have one button called submit save okay when uh, user click on the submit button this functionality will run and what will happen it will read all the value from the names at the end edge and it will run the save data so this is a method how we can call from front end to back end or some some say client server functionality from client to server how things going on so this is a line of code okay so initially the save data will run so now save data if you see we are not doing anything we have we have one sheet name user data and we are pasting the data name city and edge don't worry i will show you at the end end to end application but uh, here i will show you in short uh, things okay later it will show the data it will show a pop up like data saved successfully and we are closing the the html box whatever we have created initially second show detail it will open the detail page we have give some within height okay so in our detail page we don't know we don't have much things it will show the detail loading info and uh, when uh, it will whatever the last entry we have it will read the data name city and edge it will show in a paragraph okay if there is a no data we are, we are showing no user data form okay here we are calling create last entry so if you see to see the code 
at the last you see that we are reading data from the where we storing the data user data we are reading the data we don't have seat it will data run run otherwise it will read the data and show in a user form okay so without wasting our time i will show you how this application is working this is the most important thing because many uh, user want this type of application so let's see so initially this pop up will come you need to fill the detail okay like name we will we will give something like alex city we can give delhi h we can give 28 then save button when you are click on save button it will show a pop up data save successfully click on ok this will close out and you will see the data has been stored this is the most important thing so from front end we are sending the data to a back end this is the most important thing in Apple skill many uh, many person need to do it okay the second things is uh, show my detail when you say click on it I still pop up come it will show your last entry loading your time it is showing Alex Delhi 28 okay so I am giving you the basic things like how we can read data from the input from front end side and how we can store data in a back end and how we can read from data from the back end side and show it to a front end this is our most important part guys you need to take care okay and uh, now I will show you some um, uh, these are the simple HTML page I created so to give some CSS I have created these two page form 1 and form 2 I think we, I have added some background padding all these things okay I will show you how it look like second detail one page it is also I have added some HTML CSS, CSS part mainly to look beautiful okay so I am just going through the home page just I just change the HTML page if you see form 1 and detail 1 now this detail will show okay now if you click on enter detail if you see you see the good HTML page see it's a bit beautiful we will give Alex city Nepal H29 save it okay you can see the detail now when you have to fetch the data from the backend file so detail the last entry you can see the CSS I think it helps you a lot in your project is the main important part okay so I will attach uh, this uh, code uh, in my description box if you like the video if you like this information you can like subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon and please let me know if you need any help on this or you can also provide me some topic I can create a video for you I can also attach uh, this uh, documentation it will help a lot okay so you can go through this uh, uh, documentation okay yeah thank you